So why does the BJP continue to have its doubts on the statement made by the Defence Minister A.K. Antony? Joining us now, Prakash Javrekar, spokesperson of the BJP and Sanjay Jha, spokesperson of the Congress, Mr. Javrekar. A.K. Antony was quite clear, Sham Saran's statement didn't have, or, or report didn't have anything to do with operational details. Why, uh, why does the BJP continue to believe that the government is hiding something on the line of actual control? See, things are happening right from Arunachal to Ladakh, from Gold Old, uh, Old Bay to Goldie Bay to everywhere we have seen. And that time government has said that yes, incursion happened. And now even I was listening to the Lok Sabha debate and from members from Assam, Arunachal, even their own minister, he was saying how China is taking advantage of a non-defined border and creating infrastructure, thereby occupying your area and you just can't go there because the, they have built up road in our areas. So this is, we as a member of defense committee, mm -hmm. we had gone right now near Nathula Pass and we have seen what the infrastructure, level of infrastructure and the quality of infrastructure on the other side of the border, just near the border, along the border, and how there are gaps of even good roads. And there are no roads in Arunachal for 105 kilometers where BP, did, uh, ITBB and other Jawans also have to walk because no road is there. Your roads are not being cleared by Environment Ministry. You are not giving sufficient budget to the infrastructure along the border. And people are seeing the difference between the Chinese handling of the border and our border and China's footprints in Nepal, in Myanmar, in Pakistan, particularly on the Aksai Chin border, the way they have built up road through to the POK, this, these are very serious issues. Sanjay Jha, why these are not reply party to some issues. of these points? These are because national issues. Everything that he's saying is, is correct in that it's, it's, a known, it's a known fact. Infrastructure is terrible on our side. And for decades we've heard the same excuse that geography <coughs> favors the Chinese on the Tibetan uh, plateau and therefore they can construct <coughs> rail lines and roads. We can't do it as easily. Mm. But there also seems to be a sense of disconnect. We all talk about Pakistan. No one cares about what's really happening in China. Then they come into Debsang and the nation wakes up. Has enough been done by this government to deal with China? Uh, Vishnu, first and foremost, if you look at the manner in which I think the government resolved the recent uh, Chinese incursion at Ladakh uh, a few months ago, I think that clearly tells you that what really works best, you know, when you have two countries which uh, possibly has one of the longest uh, time period of, of a dispute uh, over a very long length. I mean, we're talking about roughly 3,448 kilometers of dispute on on the line of actual control where it has not really been formally uh, delineated or demarcated. So there is no denying and that is a reality that we need to accept and I'm sure both governments recognize that reality is the fact that until that is resolved any activity whether it's pitching a tent or creating of uh, any kind of movement which each side begins to then suspect the other of having a motive creates uh, some degree of tension at the border. That's a reality and I think we, we need to work on that. I think that is an uh, important part of the Chinese Indian agenda. If you heard Mr. Salman Khurshid as well and, and the Prime Minister himself has asked for a report on the border which is exactly what we're discussing today. So let's first understand that the government is completely seized of the matter and, and the question of you know all this speculation of ceding territory has been denied by the Defence Minister in Parliament. So my request to Prakash Javdekar and his BJP would be that you know international relations is not conducted with some kind of a, you know belligerent rhetoric that we heard you know with Pakistan you know ten heads for one ratio. That's not the way you conduct international relations. It has to be done with some degree of mature diplomacy. The second point is, and you know when the Chinese Premier made a visit to India within a perhaps the most important visit is first total important visit was to India if you exclude his visit to South Africa and that tells you that India today and let's recognize that reality every time we discuss you know Pakistan India or China India is the fact that we are not the country that we were in 1962 when we had the war with China 
We are today a powerful country, not just in terms of our economic strength. We are recognized the world over, and militarily, you know, in terms of our defense capabilities, it's a very different proposition. Okay, let me just come and to you know, Mr. Javed. There has been a lot of talk. To, to one last point. point. So, uh, Vishnu, yeah, one yeah, last yeah, point. Yeah. One last point. And, and then one last point will be, see, if, if we are now trying, and that's a very valid point uh, that even Javdekar made, and I, I think even you made it earlier, is the fact that India needs to improve its border infrastructure. You see, China has links to its mainland China through so, better rail So we, we mentioned that point. I, I have a, I we need to build that. Time, so I, and, I, and therefore, we are doing it. Yeah, okay. We are, yeah. We, we are doing it. It should have been done earlier on. But yes, the money has been sanctioned. So, Mr. Javrikar, you know, I mean, given the fact that Firstly, uh, yes, Sham Saran has been traveling to the northeast, he's been traveling in Ladakh, but money has been sanctioned. There are additional roads being built wherever possible on the Arunachal Pradesh front. We have, I have set up, on the process of setting up a strike corps to take on China for the first time moving from a defensive to an offensive posture against them in many parts of the northeast. We are landing aircraft in Dolat Beg Oldi, heavy aircraft there now. Geography doesn't favor us. You know, had the BJP been in power, you would have been faced with the same situation. No party can change geography, sir. It's a question of, uh, it's, it's, it's something that just doesn't favor us. And this government is trying. It's all in paper, sir. Uh, so what is there necessarily that they're making a mistake? I'll tell you. It is not about BJP or Congress. It is about national security. And that's prime importance where we have offered full cooperation. What we are saying is that let us understand the game plan of China. Once we believed them and they betrayed us, they are hurt after Dalai Lama being given asylum here. I had been to China many times. I have discussed at all levels of their party uh, think tanks on defense. But I believe that if you decide, if government has a willpower, it can sort out the dispute, border dispute originally, in less than five years, because we must march ahead on agreed formulations and then go ahead doing more bids so there will be more and more defined borders along the road. Okay. The issue here is, issue here is this topography is not that different immediately as soon as you look to China border. We made Chinese as a defense committee member on recent tour. But let me also tell you what nations saw, how they are now grouping, how they are coming, fortifying their own positions and they come in. Our major and our military army is conducting itself with tremendous restraint. All right. But you must allow sometimes, if they are coming, because, because he says, the defense minister says that they are, they are undefined borders. So it is the perception of India of what it belongs to. And it is the Chinese perception. But every time Chinese come in your area, why you don't go in their area? Sir, if but it how, is so undefined, that's the point, sir. you can still... We may well be doing that, huh. but that's not something that's ever discussed. And the Chinese don't ever say it. No, but that is not being... So, uh, do, China so, is so do you assume that no, we don't forward we deploy also? Doing. Is that what you're saying, Mr. Javadekar? We do not test the I Chinese saying, enough. Is that what you're saying? No. I'm saying that military has... I can't discuss everything here on the national television because there are... But army has foolproof plan. Yes. They want... Now we have given additional corp. It will be built up along, around next three, four years. But as you were telling, if you have a will, in, during NDA it was decided that the Bangla, Pakistan border will be sealed uh, through a fence. It's a very rough terrain, very difficult terrain. Still, in three years, a magnificent work could be completed. So, I think that government, this government also needs to, uh, to show that courage and give us a deadline in completing the infrastructure that will be the real booster to the Indian Army. All right. Well, one way or the what other. What is the position of the forward position? Okay. Fair enough. I, I, infrastructure sure, development. Point. Sanjay, 30 seconds because we're out of time over there. I think what he said you would, you would agree to. I mean, infrastructure development is a priority. It is. And let me add very quickly that the government's policy 
of you know strategic restraint uh, you know communicating to both pakistan and china that we don't have any you know hostile intentions uh, of you know any relationship of such kind with our neighbors i think has been very very effectively communicated and you know somewhere let me add that point that you know if you look at the fact that despite you know there has been some skirmishes at the border uh, you know 1986 is the time when we actually made our, our intent very clear yes. that we are going to develop and make our borders stronger the fact is that between china and india i think both countries uh, vishnu recognize that it's an india is china century purely on account of the phenomenal growth we have made as economies and you look at the fact that you know these border issues will have to be resolved you can't risk it because sometimes it can result in an accidental conflict so there is a risk that we need to work on at the border where can't be that's not being denied but the truth is if you look at the relationship between india and china our bilateral you know value of trade is roughly 66 billion dollars i think it's almost 70 now and the two countries are looked upon by the world as as super economic powers so i think a, you know it's it's in the interest of both india and china to uh, to work towards a solution right. to the border dispute okay, because Ms. you cannot all right, all right. Have sanjay and mr javedkar we, right that's, i mean that's amorphous. i don't think anybody wants is talking about a conflict with china and the issues you point out the economic issues are important but it's also a question of of defending ourselves by ensuring that we are well prepared and that is in the interest of Absolutely. everybody i'd like to thank both of you gentlemen for joining us this evening